Next, we are going to talk about the assessment of the thorax. Thorax, when you assess thorax, you look for the respiratory rate for one complete minute. You look for the chest rise and fall. You count the respiratory rate for one minute. Then you look for the size, shape, symmetry, and anterior posterior diameter of the chest. There are some abnormal conditions. You see patients with pneumothorax, rib fracture, atelectasis, pneumonia, barrel chest. These are some abnormal chests you see in patients. Normally, the barrel chest is associated with patients with COPD. Let's talk about the lung sounds. Use your stethoscope and place your stethoscope on your landmarks to listen the lung sounds. Which are the normal lung sounds? There are mainly three types of normal lung sounds. The first one is vesicular, the second one is bronchovesicular, the third one is bronchial. So in order to know that, how we keep or how we place our stethoscope to listen the lung sounds, we should know the anatomy of the lungs. For human body, we know that there is two lungs, the right and the left lung. The right lung has three lobes, the left lung has two lobes. The right lung is divided into superior lobe, middle lobe and inferior lobe. As the same way, the left side, superior lobe and inferior lobe. So when you listen to the right side of the chest, you have to go a little bit more deeper versus the left lung. See that it has three lobes and it has two lobes on the left side. When you listen the vesicular sound, mostly you listen over the lung field. Bronchovesicular, mostly you see at the middle, at the angle of Lewis and mid sternal area. Bronchial sound, you listen over the trachea. Normally the lung sounds are high pitch sounds and low pitch sounds. High pitch, when you blow through the rolled toilet paper, you listen a voice. So that is a type of voice in high pitch. Whereas the low pitch is just like the wind blowing through the trees. The next is about abnormal lung sounds. Which are the abnormal lung sounds? Crackles, rails, ronke, vases, strider, friction rub. So there should be some underlying reasons for having those type of lung sounds. So immediately after the extubation, you may hear the strider. Patients with congestive heart failure, patients with fluid overload, you may see the friction rub or crackles rails. Patients with pneumonia, with fluid infiltration, you can hear crackles and rails. So there should be some pathology behind it. So whenever patients have any type of this abnormal adventitious sounds, being a nurse, it's our responsibility to notify the physician. Moving to the landmarks of lung sounds, we listen the anterior chest and posterior chest. Anterior chest landmarks, some nurses start from the trachea, so that's going to be the landmark, the first site where you keep your stethoscope. Nurses starts above the level of the scapula. So it's going to be here is going to be the landmark. So let's start from the trachea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. So here, you know that trachea is here, lung lobes are here. So we are listening to the right lobe and left lobe, and we are comparing between right and left. So the first one above the level of trachea, then above level of the scapula on both sides. And here the second intercostal space, here fourth intercostal space, here sixth intercostal space. So here is going to be bronchial sound, here is going to be bronchial vesicular sound and all other fields you see 
the vesicular salts. If any abnormal adventitious salt, if you listen to one side of the lung, you compare with the other side and notify the physician if you listen any abnormal lung sounds. The same way we assess the posterior chest, we should keep the landmarks in order to listen the posterior chest. There is bony prominence here, here is scapula, vertebral column. So if you keep your stethoscope over the bone, you won't listen anything. So you have to keep your stethoscope between the vertebral column and scapula. So if you keep the landmarks on the posterior side like that, you get somewhat like a sports bra shape landmark. Auscultate the landmarks as you seen in this picture. That's all about lung sound auscultation.